Well, it's finally time to plant. Hi, I'm Carrie from Ashcomb, and today we're gonna be talking tomatoes. The danger of frost has finally passed, so it's time to plant those warm, loving vegetables like squash, cucumbers, and tomatoes. There are so many varieties of tomatoes to choose from, it can be overwhelming. So if you're just starting out, maybe just choose two or three for your family. Your favorites, of course, so you know they'll go to good use. I know at our house, my kids eat cherry tomatoes like candy. So we always do one of those, sometimes red, sometimes yellow. And then of course we like a nice slicing tomato for our BLTs and sandwiches. The selection can be overwhelming, so I suggest reading the signs and looking at the tags and picking something that sounds good to you. And there might be a lot of terminology on those tags and signs that can be confusing. Things like indeterminate and determinate, heirloom and hybrid may all be terms that you'll run across. So most tomatoes are indeterminate, which means you're going to get a fruit several times throughout the season. Determinate means you're gonna get all of your fruit at one time. These are good for sauces and canning tomatoes. Now the difference between heirloom and hybrid tomatoes are the heirloom varieties are older varieties that are kind of ugly sometimes, but they have really good flavor, but they also are susceptible to diseases. Hybrid tomatoes are newer varieties that have been bred for disease resistance, but sometimes you can lose some of the flavor. You'll have to try both to find out which one is your favorite. Your vegetable garden does need full sun, so that's at least six hours, but more is better, a full sun in your garden. You can grow them in the ground, but a lot of people don't have the space, so they do use containers. We recommend 12 inches across for one plant, so one tomato or one pepper. If you have an established garden, but you need to amend your soil, or you're gonna start your vegetables in a pot, we recommend this bumper crop soil. This soil is full of organic nutrients that are great for your vegetables and any flower garden, really. You could fill your pot completely with the bumper crop, or if you're mixing it into your soil, I like to dig the hole where the plant's gonna go, put some on the bottom, and then plant your plant, and then I sprinkle it around the top. That way it's concentrated right where your plant is growing. There are some compact varieties of tomatoes that are great for containers, but they still need some sort of support. So whether that's a single stake or a tomato cage, it will need support as the fruit develops. Whether you use an organic pelletized fertilizer or a time release or even a liquid, your vegetables will definitely need it throughout the summer. Using your fertilizer consistently will definitely ensure a bigger, better harvest. With so many varieties to choose from, you're sure to find one for your family. We do have a complete list of all of our vegetables, including tomatoes, on our website, and you can order online for curbside pickup or delivery. Happy spring and happy gardening.